Hello and welcome back to our Stationeer series and in the previous episode our jetpack has become low and my waste tank is not nearly enough filled for me to be able to you know effectively use it. So I decided to since we have plenty of CO2 after all this is you know Mars so I'm gonna be building a refill system where I can actually refill uh, up to say 4.7 kilopascal using the CO2 which will be compressed and inserted. So with that thing being said, let's just take some pipes and then we shall be building this sucker. So first things first, what we need is we need uh, uh, to go to hydraulic pipe bender and we need to take first the container mount. So let me just find it. Uh, liquid canister storage i need the gas canister storage so gas canister storage there we go all right and at the same time we are smelting some i think gold because we will need gold to produce the pre hydraulic pressure regulator which we will need as well the setup is very simple and i'm pretty sure most of you guys who are doing this it's just basic for you but since this is a, like a good beginner guide i think it's good to have it so this is actually the exact opposite of the emptying the waste tank uh, scenario this is where I, you want to be filling the jetpack tank so what i'm gonna do i need to now find the pressure regulator and we're gonna build it There we go. All right, spit it out, Sonny. And we said we're gonna cram it onto the CO2 pipe. So you don't need a lot of pipes for that. You just need basically two pieces of pipes, pressure regulator and uh, the canister storage. So now let's be, let us put the pipe I need to splice it in basically or splice it I don't know if that's the correct word weld it in maybe I don't know wrench it in maybe yeah maybe that's the word okay so here and I'm just looking for the correct orientation like that or like that it doesn't matter it's gonna look the same you doofus all right so then we need a pressure regulator because we don't want to overpressure, we want to make sure that whatever is in front of this valve will be basically adhering to the pressure. So, okay, yeah, is are, am I happy with it? You betcha. All right, come on, cram it there, ground forks. Good, another pipe, and then we need this bad boy. Uh, apparently you cannot put the gas tank storage immediately on the regulator well okay that's a bummer but uh, we still have a pipe so we're gonna be placing the pipe first come on straight one and then the gas canister storage now it should work all right stick it there we go tank fail see very nice all right, so we need to connect now the power because this thing needs to be powered, obviously. Fortunately enough, we have a power bus just behind us, so that's okay. Like that, and then we're gonna connect it downwards. There we go, and then we need to splice this in, so I need to take my wire cutters. All right, and now let's splice that in. All right. There we go. Good. That's that's all there is to it. Very simple, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to be making sure that I put the output to be roughly 4.7 megapascal or 4700. I mean, you could push it more, but I really don't want to. So there we go. 4750. There we go. Let's cram now the propellant tank in. Jetpack critical. Yeah, I know it's critical, you doofus. Obviously, I've put it there. 
All right, so let's take the Atmos Analyzer and see. Look, the pressure is building up and uh, that's good. We're gonna wait until it reaches roughly five megapascal. That's 4.7 and at that point, and it's being filled with a CO2. I mean, you can cram any gas there, but I'm thinking since this is Mars, the CO2 is the most plentiful, although it can be very, very useful, especially for the atmosphere once you're actually, you know, uh, for your hydroponics. So whether or not it will stay, I don't know, but let's keep it like that. We have some nitrogen, but it's mostly CO2. There we go, five megapascal. See, very simple. All right, store it, turn it off and cram it back in there. There you go, problem solved. Very easy, very simple. So that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up for this episode. In the next one, I will be showing you how to make super alloys, the steelite, astroloy, vespaloy, and uh, inconel, I think, or something like that. But that's about gonna be coming in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks, signing off.